to my bride, you are the most caring, selfless, loving person I have ever met. I love how we can be ourselves around each other. We laugh, love, and sometimes argue, but we always talk through our problems, and that's what makes our relationship strong. Kiss you good nights, and I love you. If someone told me at Dalton and Alicia's wedding that we'd have our own wedding seven years later, I would have never believed them. If someone told me at Wyatt's second birthday party that you've become the love of my life, my better half, and future husband, I still don't think I would have believed them. Sometimes the biggest blessings come when you least expect them, when you fit exactly that for me. Someone I never knew how much I needed, now someone I could never live without. In these past three years, you've exceeded my expectations in every way. I know I'm not the easiest to deal with, and you always meet me with grace and patience. You're my voice of reason when mine isn't there, and my rock that keeps me grounded. Abby, from the moment I met you, I knew you were someone truly special. Your love has brought out the best in him, and for that, I am eternally grateful. I love how you've introduced Brett to camping, hiking, and traveling, and that's something you will always be able to do together. It's clear that Brett is the happiest he's ever been when he's with you, but not just Brett. You're also loved by our entire family, and we welcome you with open arms. But I wouldn't want to spend it without you by my side. The clouds are going to roll, the earth's going to shake, but I'll be a shelter through the wind and the rain, and we'll be. Thank you for always finding different ways to get through any rough patches we face. Thank you for always believing in me and reminding me what I'm capable of when I don't believe in myself. I've dreamed of my wedding day since I was a little girl, and although I didn't know then what my future husband would be like, I know you're better than anything I ever imagined. You have my heart, and I will love you forever. In a few short hours, we'll be starting our next chapter together, and I cannot wait to call you my husband. I love you, and I'll see you soon, Ethan. Your Shredder. In a couple hours, you're going to be my wife. I cannot wait to call you that forever. You have made me a better person each day, and I cannot wait to see what our future holds together. Abby Ladd, soon to be David, and my soulmate, I love you forever, and I'll see you at the altar. Our wish for you is this. May your love be modern enough to survive the times, yet old-fashioned enough to last forever. And now, since you've spoken your vows before me and these witnesses, and exchange wedding rings as symbols of your love and commitment, it is with great joy that I finally say the words you've been waiting to hear. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Brett, you may kiss your bride. Roy and Ruth Ladd were together for almost 65 years, and I'm sure with the weather today seen so far, they're looking down at us and smiling at this joyous occasion as Brett and Abby start their lives as husband and wife. I'd like to toast the newly married couple. This is the beginning of a new life as husband and wife. May the love you have for each other grow and strengthen as you go through life together. But that love you take is, take that love seriously. Put each other first. Laugh at yourselves first and laugh with each other often. Cheers. I'm so happy to see that you found your person and someone could put up with your crazy, spontaneous, indecisive self. And I'm so happy for you too, and now you have each other to lean on during this crazy ride of life together. Congratulations, I love you both. Looking back at my wedding five years ago, I never thought this day would come. But look where we are. I'm so proud of how far he's come. 
He became my kid's favorite uncle. He bought a camper. He sold a camper. In all seriousness, he moved out of our mom's house. He bought a house. He got engaged. He became a manager at work. He's really grown up over these past five years. So please raise your glasses to Brett and Abby. May your life together be filled with laughter, love, and many more adventures. Abby is a smart and loyal and strong-willed person, but decision-making, not her best quality. I was afraid that when Brett asked Abby to marry him, she'd have to think about it. I am so glad she said yes, because there's no one else I'd want as my brother-in-law. Abby's like a second mom to me. She really showed me what to do and what not to do through her experiences. One good thing she has shown me is how a guy should treat me, like the way Brett treats Abby. I couldn't imagine a better person for her to spend her life with. happy you have found the love of your life, someone to protect you the way dad has protected us, and someone who loves Arlo and now Luna as much as you do. Thank you for finding me the brother I've always wanted. To Abby and Brett, congratulations. Hi.